I like to carry granola bars around in my purse so when I'm away from home and I have a hunger attack, I can just dig in and pull out a granola bar. But if you've ever purchased granola bars, you know that they can be a little bit expensive. You can really save money by making your own granola bars. And today, I thought I'd share my favorite recipe. It's full of seeds. If you like seeds, you'll love these granola bars. I'm starting by putting one cup of sesame seeds into a large mixing bowl, along with one cup of roasted and salted sunflower seeds a cup of slivered almonds, and you can use any kind of nuts. This morning I made some and I used cashews that I chopped up, some raw cashews. This is coconut flakes, and because they're flakes, I'm just going to crush them a little bit as I put them into my bowl. I love these coconut flakes because they just smell so fresh and they're so flavorful. And then I'm going to add a cup of dried cranberries that I've chopped up. And here too, you can use whatever dried fruit you like, dried cran, uh, dried cherries, dried apricots that you've chopped up a little bit. And so then I'm just mixing this up, toss it up really well. And I've already melted a mixture together on the stove. In my pot, I have some coconut oil, half cup of coconut oil, and half cup of brown sugar, and a quarter cup of honey, just a little tish of salt. I've got that all melted. You can see that the brown sugar is just kind of nice and melted. It's not very granular anymore. I'm gonna add just a little bit of vanilla today. I don't always add vanilla, but sometimes I just like that nice vanilla flavor. So I'll just add a little bit and get that stirred into the mixture. Now I'm just going to turn this into a nine by 13 inch pan that I've prepared with parchment paper. And the reason I like to use parchment paper is because after my bars have cooled, I can easily pull them out of the pan and they're nice and easy to slice and cut into bars. Now once I've patted the mixture into the pan, I'll put it into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. After the first 10 minutes, I take it out, stir it up, and then pat it back down so it's nice and tight in the pan. And then just watch it, 10 or 15 minutes, the almonds will start to get brown and the whole top will just start to turn golden. That's the time to take it out of the oven. Let it cool and then you can cut it into bars. And there you have your homemade granola bars ready to go. I'm Sue Doden, sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.